guys welcome to my channel so this is going to be a reading for the collective collective my readings are timeless so when you see them is when you meant to hear them please don't forget to like comment share subscribe also please don't forget to hit the post notification bell so you can get alerts when my videos are posted if the collective if you wish to donate towards my channel all the links are in the description box down below um, I was going to say, I almost kind of feel like I don't want to use cards for this situation because these are messages that I was receiving. Um, so, first one is, something is fishy. A situation is fishy, meaning something's not right. Or something about a smell, a specific smell, something's not right. Um, so the first thing was because yesterday I lit an incense um, in the house. One of those big, thick incense that smells so good. Um, and initially, I could smell nothing but the incense. Um, I got to check because I know the full moon was just recently or is now or something because I've been doing other stuff and... I haven't been paying attention to the cycle, but I know I seen that the moon was big and bright the other day. So this definitely has something pertaining to some spell casting happening. Um, so I'm sitting, and then I'm starting to notice a smell. A smell that I used to get all the time, initially when I first went through the dark night of the soul or whatever was happening with me that glitch that happened um because i don't think that was the ascension period that uh, i went through an ascension at that time but there was something else happening some type of voodoo hoodoo who knew some shit happening anyway so i only smell that when people are trying to do work on me or in my direction okay Okay, so last night, I smelled the incense first, and then it started to be the other smell started happening. So I could smell the other pet smell past the incense smell. So it started to kind of like, kind of take my breath away a little bit to where it made me notice like, hold on, that's not that incense. That's a different smell. Somebody's doing something. Cause it smells like cigarettes or something. And I, nobody here smokes. I've never smoked cigarettes before in my life. And it's just not a thing so uh i started to smell that and then i'm saying okay so what's happening somebody's doing something you know trying to do some type of work in my direction trying to get something happening so then last night i go to sleep so my dreams are pertaining to my last past couple of dreams the past couple of nights were Something being contaminated, a situation being contaminated um, to where it was like actually people that came out with hazmat suits, like, so something being a hazard. Um, then last night, something about somebody, you smell funny to somebody or somebody smells funny to you or the situation smells funny. That would mean something's not right. But then also I kept getting in my dream, like throwing something at you somebody throwing something at you and then it started to be a situation like because i got a message yesterday that definitely pertained to me about me continuing to uh walk away from situations have been trying to come invade my space and as everybody knows i've been saying i'm single celibate and sober um, I wanted to stay. I didn't want to attach myself to any dudes or any type of situations while I was going through my divorce. I wanted to make sure that my my marriage stayed sacred up until the final end. So there was no way that this person could say that I cheated, I entertained, I did nothing. Um, whatever the situation was between me and them, it just was. And it has been taking too long. And of course, I mean, I'm a woman, so at the end of the day, and I'm, I'm a young woman still, so I would, of course, want to um, be with somebody, you know, I don't know uh, to what extent, but at this point, it's been on my mind. Um, 
either way, I can't engage or entertain anybody until this divorce is over. So it's been holding me up basically as to what I've been saying because um, the whole thing got stagnant and stuck because a person tried to be manipulative in the court system. Um, basically try to use the courts for their own personal vendetta or vengeance against me. Um, either way, the part of it is, is that it's been taking too long to, whereas I'm very much sure that not too many people do that. And I can almost guarantee you that I know this person for a fact did not wait for me, uh, you know, uh, the divorce to be over. I'm sure that person is happily laid under somebody else or up with somebody else not my problem and i don't care okay just a statement so um and it's funny that that's there clean up time cleaning up your situation because that was significant uh, energy being thrown at you to where it's like you needing to clean up your life um get things organized get things together put things into perspective but it's almost like you only can get things half done it's because there's an energy a spirit that's active right now that was sent to you in order for you to stay stag stagnant and for you not to move on or try not to move on um which is weird because the people who sent this or the people who are doing it are not one i feel like somebody's not tied to you and then two i think one of the situations almost seems like one person is doing it another well this is a different individual a different individual doing the same exact thing but meanwhile this person is with somebody else but they don't want you to be with nobody else which is very selfish and freaking very much narcissistic um and i don't like using that word because it's just such a common ass thing these days but it's just a common ass thing like people are very and i think everybody has some of those traits to a, a certain extent but some people just have more and they display it more in a very selfish like self-centered energy and so you being held back or certain things being uh trying to be stopped for you but meanwhile that it's just you everybody else is going on and you know with their lives and doing what they need to do but it seems to be the people that keep coming in your direction are um not suitable um, and I'm going to use this example because I kept saying, I don't want to be with anybody or I don't want to like, you know, because I don't want to start something that I can't finish. And like I said, my marriage was important to me. So I want to make sure that I did everything. I can say I did everything that I was supposed to do in that situation. Um, nobody can say, oh, she was outside of her marriage or she was doing this or she was doing that. No, um, I, I didn't do any of that. Um So something smells fishy or something fishy in the mix or you smell weird to somebody or somebody smells weird to you. Either way, it's something pertaining to a smell that is happening. Um, the smell yesterday was putting me on alert that somebody was trying to cast or, you know, perform some type of ritual in my direction. But when I was when I went to sleep, it was telling me that there's a situation that somebody's trying to hold you back from that they already know is going to be your reality and they're trying to slow you down or stop you from either receiving it or entertaining it with it and this could be like a a relationship for one also somebody trying to hold your money like um, cause somebody wants to be in control of your money. Somebody wants to be in control of you. Somebody wants to be in control of your life. Either way, cords have been cut and people have been, you know, um, moved away, moved out of your, 
out of your contract. Your contract has been changed. Your life contract, your purpose, all of that stuff has been changed pertaining to these people. They no longer have a hold on you and they no longer are, should be vested in your life. But they're heavily vested in what happens for you because, again, and I'm going to keep repeating this. Somebody seems to think that their success is based upon your failure. They know they are only a mediocre energy but somebody wants to do better than you that's what they they gauge their success off of which is stupid because success is to the individual somebody may not want the things that you want somebody may want less than you and they feel like they're successful so it makes no sense but the way these people are set up your demise equals their success or your failures equal their success again weird so cleaning up a situation for you you there's a there's stuff that needs to be cleaned up in your area around you surrounding you and that's time and okay so here we are it's time time is important um because it says that's the oracle card and it says it's go time um the time is right all right, so um, you cleaning up something or a situation or uh, or stuff just being cleaned up for you, um, meaning heavenly, divinely, everything, good, bad, ugly, or indifferent is in alignment with how things are supposed to be transitioned for you in your life. So although right now you may feel like, and that's funny because Beauty and the Beast is my favorite, like that's like my favorite Disney thing. That's my theme, beauty and the beast. You need some space in a relationship. Okay, so that would be saying to me like somebody holding on to you too tight. Because like I just told y'all a minute ago, um, there's somebody in your energy that is trying to hold on to you, but they're they're already attached or going off with somebody else. Um, it's almost like this person, again, like I keep saying, they don't want you to move beyond them move past them move on but there is like this situation is hopeless like i'm telling you naturally hopeless so this person would be somebody that you know in life that you will never return to um excuse me um ha don't have a chance don't stand a chance a shot in hell okay so it would be that type of person so whoever that person is for you, that's the person that I'm talking about. Because it's like this person's energy is so strong because although they're somewhere else, it's like their focus and their attention is on you. And the person they with know that. And it's crazy because it causes conflict. Their attachment to you and you have you don't even, you're on your way. You're on your merry little way elsewhere. So their attachment to you is kind of actually burden and, and hitting uh like uh hindering their relationship that they're in currently um because although they think they're hiding it well they're not because every chance they get they're bringing you up and the person's basically like that person not even worried about you so why you keep talking about him why you keep talking about him why you keep talking about her um either way beauty and the beast like how he tried to make sure that she didn't leave him um from the beginning you know or just trying to basically holding her hostage um but you need some space from a situation somebody's not letting something go you have automatically you have changed now let me think i'm trying to think of more important stuff like as far as far as my dream is concerned then there's a lot of old energies coming back up i don't know if um Y'all have been, you know, made aware or but of uh, old relationships, old people trying to, you know, come into your energy all of a sudden. People wanting to now be friends with you like, OK, time has passed. So now we should just be friends or I want to be your friend. Meanwhile, y'all were uh, estranged just last week. But now there's people trying to get you, you know, back in. They're, they're trying to get back in your good graces. That's what that's like to me. Um, but the whole moral of this story is there is something that is divinely 
ordained for you something that has to happen in order for the next phase to go smoothly and it's almost giving me the vibe like the projection the, the throwing something at you somebody wants you to miss a particular situation that is designed for you that has been orchestrated in heaven for you um it's like meddling people are meddling in a situation and what is that like third party interference what card is that that would be three of swords energy so third party interference could be friends and family so that's the vibe that it's giving me friends and family of either you or this person meddling in the situation and keeping shit going between you and this person because somebody is definitely on hate mode hateration mode and they don't want either so it's somebody either close to you that don't want you to receive this or somebody close to the masculine uh your feminine your uh kingdom spouse your twin flame your uh soulmate Somebody in the area knows about your relationship. Somebody surrounding you or them know about the relationship. They know how you feel about this person and they know how the person feels about you. And it could be both on both sides. So at this point, if y'all are mirroring each other, it would be happening on both sides, which could also be the reason why it's so hard for y'all to either come to together or come to some happy medium because there's like, to me, a vibe of... Um, cause I'm, I'm, the word I'm hearing is longing. So y'all spirits longing for each other. But meanwhile, in the 3D, y'all don't get along or y'all are having some type of struggle and strife. It's because of, and we have strength here, be patient. Um, things will work themselves out. So you have some tough, difficult times to go through. Um, but things will work themselves out. Um, and I, that's just significant because of what I was saying at the time. So it's almost like having a love hate relationship where y'all are totally in love with each other. But meanwhile, it, on a three day, your mouth is saying, I don't like that person. That person smells weird to me. Um, I, like, you know what I'm saying? That, that type of thing. But it's also like a, a childish third grade type of love where I push you down. Look at this shit. What did I say? A three of swords. Um, that's like, again, meddling. Somebody meddling in a situation. So it was also giving me like, um, the person may be talking to the people and saying, you know, okay, I'm going to just go get him. I'm going to go get her. I'm going to go get the person. And then people, friends, family saying, I don't think it's time. I don't think you should. Um, because this ain't right or because that's not right or because but it's go time the time is right so something is being aligned for this situation to come to an end because heavenly spiritually is taking too long things are taking too long and as you know like when your destiny lines up with somebody else's everything has to be done to a t in order for it to happen the way it needs to happen um so, because there's building that has to happen and because there's a uh, construction that has to happen, each thing takes its own time. So, if one thing gets thrown too far out of whack, then it throws off the timeline for everything else. So, the vibe to me is behind your back and behind this person's back friends and family are meddling in situations friends and family are doing spells casting like the power of life and death is in the tongue things that they speak um i don't never want this person to get in alignment with that like so they don't realize their spell or they maybe they do they're spell casting over their so-called friend or so-called loved ones relationships it's not for you to talk on it's not for you to speak on it's not even your business um, also between the two of y'all, it's like a wishy-washy energy 
to where it's like um look at this and i keep splitting the deck on the same card like literally i just split this deck again so heavily heavy heavy meddling happening behind the scenes there's a direction in which you two are supposed to go in but there's heavy meddling like people are in that mm, okay that's a rock band heavy metal don't ask me why that's important or significant it might be something that somebody listens to that would kind of tip you off to who this person is um or you know because people have been wearing like a the vintage clothing and things so this this might be something that somebody wears the person might be into heavy metal um also but heavy meddling in the direction heavy metal and this is aquarius um and this is what libra libra card um so things being brought into balance also as well and i just said that so it, the, the time is now um we have the fool here is a new beginning possibilities um optimism trusting in life having blind faith that's basically saying that you know that god is going to fix whatever this is there's an opportunity that is ahead of you and happening right now something about uh judication which is judgment so that could be public opinion it could also be something that's in the courthouse a judgment that needs to be made in order to bring something to a, uh, a split there's a marriage there so it could be a divorce or a separation happening but also it could be a marriage a marriage actually happening that goes in front of the judge um the official person so you marrying the official person the person who was designed to be for you and you're for them um, the person designed to love you, the person that you're designed to, con you know, move through life with your purpose. And then the high priest is here. Intuition, sacred knowledge, subconscious mind, spirituality, divine feminine, high morals, trusting yourself. So trusting your intuition, wisdom, secrets, mystery, and hidden. So also giving me the vibe. Somebody, listen. And I, I just want to say it like this because those old people coming in trying to like somebody's trying to intervene in your destiny meaning put themselves in a place that they don't belong so y'all have to be very very careful about the energies that are coming around with you then we have like cupid okay okay hold on let me slow down you have to be very careful of the energies who are trying to engage with you right now. Don't just rush because you're tired of waiting or you're bored of being by yourself or whatever it is that is happening. Um, if you're bored with yourself, then you need to work, continue to work on yourself because that means that you're not even happy with your own company. Um, and there's still more healing. Healing is a lifelong process. I get it. But there's a specific healing that needs to go along with you if you are still, if you're bored, okay? Um, Because I'm always by myself and I'm never bored. I love myself and I'm always in good company. So who better than me? I'm a good friend. I'm a good conversationalist. I'm a, like, if I had to be alone with anybody, I would rather it be me, okay? Um, That's just how I feel. You don't have to feel that way. You might be bored. You might want to get outside. I want to get outside too, but that don't mean that I'm bored with myself. It just means that me, myself, and I want to go outside. <laughs> There's stuff we could do outside, okay? And I mean, when I mean outside, I don't mean like, okay, I could just walk out my backyard. I mean, like, it's time to travel. It's time to do stuff that my higher self is going to learn from. That type of outside. So being careful of the connections that are trying to come in because and i got a feeling that that's something that i can definitely resonate with and i'm saying i got a feeling only because i think that's what happened in my last situation something was not over not done which made it easy for me to kind of slide in that situation when meanwhile i don't think that was the situation that was designed for me it felt like it because it was something that wasn't over so, and on top of that, I wasn't paying attention to what and who a divine masculine and divine feminine at the time. I just know that my energy is as pure as it's going to get because I sit under God and I know that God is watching. So I'm not going to do something that I'm going to feel like I got to hide or anything else from anybody around here because that's not what I think. At the end of the day, anything that I do 
I know God saw it. It don't matter what the people here say because who the fuck are y'all? Y'all don't got a heaven or a hell to put nobody in. So when you're walking in your divinity, you know that God is always watching. And so you don't do stuff behind the scenes that you don't want people to know. Because why? Who are they? Um, so be careful about the connections that you make because there's somebody trying to slide in a place that they don't belong in, okay? Also, the connections that you do make, making sure that you nurture them well because of the fact that there's an energy out here of you pushing people away or, you know, you trying to, um, you rather just be by yourself because you don't want to entertain negative energy or you don't want to bring like foolishness into your life because it's peaceful it's peaceful when you're by yourself because you ain't got to worry about nobody trying to gaslight you ain't got to worry about nobody you know just doing stuff that you are not gonna like because who's gonna do that when it's just you and you one of one and that's the other thing you are one of one you're one of a kind and so this is another reason why this thing is designed the way it's designed because when God sends people, he sends a specific person to do a specific job. So this specific person, you, or the per specific person that you are tied to, them coming in, the connection is specifically designed for y'all too. But there's a lot of energy of, because again, uh, the same thing I'm getting is something don't smell right. So somebody sending energy or to i don't know why because i don't know why it's giving me like um you you smell funny to the person or smart person smells funny to you but it's not y'all it's like really a inner the, it's a projection it's a something that somebody is doing that is making it like somebody sending you something and making it making you think that it's, it's from somebody else or just the people, the way they're meddling is too many energies because, like, me smelling different people. Like, because I can, for some reason, that's a thing. And you can smell a person when they're trying to surround you or when they're trying to engage in your energy. So that might be the thing. But anyway, something's fishy. Something's not right. Um, okay, so let me do these numbers real quick. So we have 15... Okay, so the first one is 8, then we have 15, then we have 30, 22, and then 3. So, 33 is here, mastery number, so mastering something, a completion, um, um, getting through something. So, once you master something, that means that it's another level to come. Um, also, ascendant masters helping you. Time, time is important. Time is significant here. Like right now, the stars are aligning for whatever this situation is to happen, um, for it to go. So celestial signs, paying attention to the stars, the moon. And I, like I said, I have not been doing that in the past couple of days because I just haven't. Um, but I was made aware of the other day, the moon was big and full. So I do believe we're in a full moon cycle right now because... I can smell when people start being active and people try to do the most spells under the full moon, which is like, I get it. But if you really a master of your, you know, craft, spells can be done at any given time. Why y'all people move in like y'all top form, top, top form when that happens? Like, but because that's when I mostly can smell y'all. So it's like a whole thing where y'all are preparing or people are preparing to do spells or and it's like they keep doing them keep doing the same exact thing over and over again and then wonder why they life messed up because it keeps backfiring it keeps backfiring but yet they heavily invested in your situation meanwhile the situation ain't even tied to them like they they are released and, and unable to move along and going about their business um a new phase, rekindling a situation, renew transformation, growth, and a changed mind. So just so we are all clear, the renewal is a past life energy. So renewing a old, so that it has nothing to do with um, something that is now. I strongly, heavily feel that. Um, 
whoever this person is, this is, and it could be somebody that you know from now, but you just, okay, let me rephrase this because I don't know if it's sounding right. But anyway, if you get it, you get it. Um, a past life love, somebody that you've known from before. So if you believe in reincarnation, that type of energy that exists now. So you may have engaged with this person now, but the renewal is from then, okay? If I made that make any sense, because it still sounds like it's crazy. Anyway, somebody's being judged. So again, public opinion, a judgment of you and this person, but y'all spirits are calling each other. Your souls are calling each other. Even though you and this person could be judging each other heavily, but at the end of the day, it's still like a love relationship that is happening. Two things two people who are not the same beauty and the beast the opposite why is that what's that word for that um there's a, a animal and either way we're not gonna go there because never mind um but beauty and the beast so you and this person totally being different but a marriage is a blend bringing something together the two things need to be brought together in order for the next phase the new phase to now and the word, I, I want to say abundance, but it was a uh, fruition to bring things like, because there's something big, like archetype, you building the life and creating the life that you choose or that you want. But there is people's futures that y'all are tied to from something that y'all bring together, something that y'all build, some type of, uh, some type of situation that helps a lot of people and if this don't happen i mean i don't know what's gonna happen y'all gotta talk to god about it but i can almost guarantee you that the people that were meddling are not gonna continue on on earth or have a good life because y'all are y'all are messing up so many other people's destinies behind this so collective that's the reading hopefully it makes sense and hopefully it helps if you wish to donate towards my channel all the links will be in the description box down below thank you and go with god